guys I'm here with a video that I wanted to do I wanted to make some glitter gels from scratch and um, I hauled these um, about probably a two three weeks ago and they are from I think Octilio I'm gonna leave the link below so yeah I, I, I'm probably not pronouncing it right but I think she have a pronunciation on her website and I'm going to make some, some gels with this. I'm going to be using the IBD heart gel, which is this. It's kind of thick. I wish it was a little looser, but hey, this is what I'm working with right now. And I'm going to be putting them in these little jars right here right here and I like these little drawers I got these off of Aliexpress they even have the little tab in here I think they're like 50 for $24 and 50 cents and I think when I paid for it I bought a hundred so I paid like $49 free shipping okay these are 20 gram jars and I'm only gonna do 15 grams in here which is like a tablespoon and what I'm gonna use a tablespoon to this and I measured it out before because I made these before and the 15 grams is about to this line right here and that's about a tablespoon right there and for the the mix I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon I know I got that upside down huh a teaspoon and like I said, that line right here, if y'all see it, I don't know if y'all see it or not, but it's in the jar. That line right there is a tablespoon, which is 0.5 ounces. Uh, and narrow it down, it's 15 grams. I think I'm going to start with... Um, I have so many to choose from, y'all. I don't know. Um, I made one already, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do Camilla I think that's the one I'm gonna do Camilla I like the flying glitter because you can always put the chunky glitter loose chunky glitter on top of your your gel and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I would think that um, this probably be five grams in there but I'm gonna test it and see and I'll make sure I tell y'all what that is and after I do it, I'll just peel this off like this. If I can peel it off, I probably can't. And stick it to the stick it to my bottle so I can know what it was so I can order it order it again. It's kind of messed up, so I'm gonna have to take that down. And I probably would take that to the bottom like that. So I'm just gonna save that right there. Okay, put that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and start with this, this first one here. What I'm going to do is open the bottle. They do have a top that you squeeze, but um, I have no time for that. So I always, I'm going to open it up like this, and I'm just going to um, start it off like that. And I have this little thing that I'm going to do my mixing with, which I use a spatula, which I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use the little stirry thing to stir, to stir up. This is nothing but a little seafood fork from Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to stir. Alcohol to clean. <coughs> And um, I'm going to use a top coat when I'm done for my swatches. I'm going to just put a little swatch on the top, which I can show you. One that I made by the pigment. And I'll swatch it like that. At the side. Okay, back to this. It's already coming out, as you can see. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out of there. Try to get to that line perfectly. It's the bottom line that I'm getting to. This is going to be a clear base.
okay now that's going to settle and it is almost right to the bottom of that line at the top of that line will be 20 grams and at the bottom top of that line be 20 gram and at the bottom of that line is 15 grams total of that I'm gonna put this whole thing in here guys this 5 grams 15 grams to 5 grams let me go ahead and see I have my little app that I use on my phone but um, if y'all want to know by teaspoons I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like this and I would say that's almost a half a teaspoon a half a teaspoon but this right here is the quarter teaspoon so I kinda got my measurements off so this actually a, almost a quarter and this have a little bit left over but I think I want to use it all y'all so it's it's a little bit under a half a teaspoon but still um, I say a little bit over a quarter but I don't have anything bigger than that so a little bit under a half a teaspoon not not that much over a quarter teaspoon so I wouldn't use that because I want to use the whole five grams because I want it to be very very opaque okay so I do pour it all in here now if I was doing pigments I would use this which I'm gonna show you then but right now all I have to do is just pull that in there you can pull it all it's glitter And I take my little stirring spoon in and I slowly, slowly stir this up. Try not to get it all over your pot. I'm taking my time because I don't want a lot of bubbles. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Let's test that out right quick. And I'll do is put some alcohol on a piece of napkin and I'll just wipe it off and you'll be ready for the next one okay I'm gonna put like a little dot here and on this you can use a UV and a LED lamp to cure this I'm gonna cure it for two minutes And what you can do once you put this on here, you can like put a little clear tape on it, clear scotch tape or something to keep it there. So it won't break off or anything. Just try to make it flat as possible. If not, just make sure you put some on top of it so it won't chip off. That is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, going to cure that. While that's curing, you can make your own little collection. Okay. That is beautiful, isn't it? Very opaque and everything. Nice. If you want to know how it look on a pop stick, 
going to take a little bit. I'm going to cure that for you guys. I will put two coats of this. Okay, that's the first coat. Let's go ahead and do a second coat. And you can, if you if you feel that you want it thin, 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 just have thin coats on there, and just just if you have to do three coats, do th three coats if you don't want it thick. If you already built your nail with a clear, put that back in there again. Okay, that is the second coat. Now, like I said, I polished it on, and this is a clear base. Now, um, you can do a third coat if you want to, but it's very, very pretty. Because you most of the time you're going to have like a color underneath it unless you want to do a clear nail. But um, you can always do a third coat. I'm going to do another little third coat. I'm going to keep it really, really thin again. And you have your little sticker, and it's going to have a tacky layer there. So that's why I say you can just um, take the tacky layer off. You can leave, and, um, take the tackiness off, put um, a gel top coat, a non wipe gel top coat, and, um, and a piece of scotch tape, and you're good to go. Make sure you put your little lid, clean it off around there. Put your lid on there. And you're good to go. You have your own little mix there. You ain't pay much for this. If you really think about it, this whole thing, I probably paid a total, probably be paid $5 for making my own glitter. And probably not that much because the glitter I use, you get six of them for $5.50. This right here was $30 something dollars. I got it on sale. It's regular $80. But if you get it on sale, hey, I normally try to wait till it's on sale. I got this from beautywest.com. And I usually wait until it goes on sale. And that's 30 some dollars. You divide that, it's 8 ounces. And you get, you make like um, a half an ounce of this in here, which is 15 grams. And you do 8 ounces. So that's a total of 16 you can make. So you get 16 divided into 34 dollars. So I think I roughly pay probably three four no more than five dollars for that if I make that on my own because the pots were what 50 for 24 dollars like 40 cents a piece probably less than that but anyway okay this is the three coats which is built up and it is gorgeous look at that very pretty and that was Camilla. Okay, let me hurry up and do this because the video is going to be just <laughs> outrageously long. So, this is got this color Ella, I want to do Ella. Get another jar. And we're going to add a pigment base to this one. Open this up. And we're going to go ahead and put our gel in this container. And I don't need much of a base. I don't need much of this. It's just going to be a little bit. Just to, so it won't be. If you don't want a clear base. It's going to turn out okay. So that's the color I'm using. And all I need is a little tinge. 
Just a tinge. Just to cloud that back up a little bit. And mostly when you buy these, it's little for your money. And um, I just think this is more economy, economically. If you economically. <laughs> okay, we got that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, that is pretty, isn't it? Okay. Let's go ahead and test this out because I know it's going to be a clear base, y'all. So, because I can see from here it's a clear base. So, this is what I'm talking about. I don't want it to be a clear base. But some people might say, oh, you, you need this to be a clear base to put on other colors, which I cannot deny. I do like that. I cannot deny that it would be a, a cute clear base. Oh, should I mess this up, guys? And put a base to it. Then the other color won't shine through. I might need to keep this a clear base and pick another color. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and mix my pigment, which is silver. Now I'm going to take my glitter. And I'm going to put some on here. Get my little spatula. Okay, let's take it off this towel, get it all up off this towel, and put it up in here. Okay, then we're going to take our little stick again. We're going to do some stirring up. Let's get this pearl action here. Yeah, I'm not even caring about the bubbles no more because I'm going to have this sitting overnight anyway. So, And like I said, I'm going to try that, that, that hot water, sit them in hot water and let them settle down in some hot water. Y'all tell me if y'all try it before me, I'll make a video if it works in the comment description below. Let me get me a pop stick and let's see how it looks if I need to put some more pigment I will put some more pigment yes see it highlighted it a lot see the difference look at the difference look at the difference so that's how you change the tone you always want to go lighter than the colors up in there try to um, coordinate with the colors and I think I'm gonna I would do two coats of this I like that and I don't think I'm gonna add any more to it I need to stop doing it at the bottom of these popsticks and just put it at the top a lot of people say that it is better if you put it at the bottom but I'm having a hard time filling up this spot right here I like that that is a pretty color look at that I'm going to do one more coat on, on with this. See how that look with one more coat. Opaque color. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it at the top because it's no, I, it, it keep drag, it have me dragging it down.
And I might just do a clear like that. I have some more clear. That's not really something that's all I like that. I can make a clear that. But I just want to see how it looks if I add a pigment to that, the back of that. Um, so it won't be so clear. I, I, I like the way this turned out. I like it a lot. And my next video... I'm going to do just plain pigments and we're going to do like the color wheel. This video is too long so I wasn't able to incorporate that. And it's going to be on the color wheel with just opaque, no shimmer, no nothing pigments. And we're going to do it the same way and we're going to see how those colors turn out. Alright guys, this is how that look. I really do like it. How you like that? I love it. I love it. So this is how you make gel, glitter, glitter gels from scratch. Just got to have your glitter, your gel, a spatula, some pots, measuring spoons, you know. And that's it. And it's fun. It's fun to do. Okay. Until next time, guys, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.